using a catheter is relatively simple, but will require some practice. In this film, you will learn how to empty your bladder using a catheter with an insertion grip. The insertion grip is used to push the catheter into the urethra bit by bit without touching the catheter. A bit like when using an oven glove to push an oven tray into the oven. Start by washing your hands thoroughly with water and soap. Remember also to wash your thumbs. Alcohol hand gel can be used if you don't have access to washing facilities. Make sure to have all the equipment you will need ready before you start the catheterization. You will need a catheter of the appropriate size and perhaps a urine bag. You will also need intimate wipes or soap with neutral pH value and water to clean your penis. Start by removing the label that covers the sticky spot on the package. Press the spot onto a clean surface. Make sure the package is hanging straight down and that it is easy to reach when you are ready. Open the upper end of the packaging by pulling the ring towards yourself and then downwards. You can also open the packaging without using the ring, but do not open it using your mouth. To avoid spilling the liquid inside the package, stop pulling as soon as you see all of the turquoise insertion grip. Pull your clothes down so you have free access when doing the catheterization. To prevent pushing bacteria into the urethra and bladder when you use the catheter, you must first clean the head of your penis properly. Gently pull the foreskin back and wash the head of the penis. To remove any bacteria that might be present at the opening of the urethra, you should wash in a circular motion starting at the urethra and working outward. Use each wipe only once. Grab the turquoise insertion grip with your leading hand and lift the catheter out of the packaging. Loosen your grip of the insertion grip a bit and release it from the connector by pulling it downwards. Then pinch the insertion grip again. For optimal grip to the catheter, pinch on the wavy section of the insertion grip. Make sure that the catheter tip and surface does not touch anything before you enter it into the urethra. If it does, you must use a new catheter. Touching the sink or your clothes or skin, for example, will contaminate the catheter and can potentially cause infection. Hold your penis pointing upwards and close to your stomach. This will ease the insertion of the catheter as the natural S-shape of the urethra then changes into a U-shape. Provide a gentle pressure to the head of your penis to open the urethra, but be careful not to squeeze your penis as this may obstruct the passage of the catheter during insertion into the urethra. To help insertion of the catheter, it is important that you relax. Position the insertion grip approximately 10 to 15 centimeters from the catheter tip so that you feel you can control the tip when inserting it into the urethra. While supporting your penis with your other hand, guide the tip of the catheter into the opening of the urethra. Slowly and gently start pushing the catheter in while still pinching the insertion grip. Then release pressure on the grip to move it a bit further towards the connector. Repeat the pinch-push-release action of the insertion grip to continue inserting the catheter. Do not squeeze the penis, as this may make inserting the catheter more difficult. It is normal to feel resistance from the prostate or the sphincter muscle at the bottom of the bladder. If needed, push the insertion grip all the way back onto the connector to be able to use the full length of the catheter. Make sure that the connector is pointing towards the toilet before the urine starts to flow. Some prefer to hold their thumb over the connector or to bend the catheter to hold the urine back until they are ready to drain it into the toilet. Continue to insert the catheter until it reaches your bladder and urine starts to flow. Then continue for a few centimeters further. When the flow stops, move a little and straighten yourself up to make sure that the bladder is completely empty.
Withdraw the catheter slowly to ensure that you drain any remaining urine at the base of your bladder. Once any additional flow of urine has finished, slowly withdraw the remainder of the catheter. You can dispose of the catheter and the packaging in your household rubbish. Do not flush it down the toilet. Wash your hands and you have completed the process. Important note. The catheterization procedure must always be carried out under guidance from a healthcare professional. The instructions provided in this film are only intended as follow-up to the advice you have already been given.